Hello, Gethsemane family. Pastor Mark here with another G3 moment. I'm uh, going to do a live uh, virtual tour here for you uh, and uh, let you see something here that uh, is happening at our church. And to just remind you of how great our God, and how awesome our God is, is, is if you didn't already know that, I know you know that. Um, but I want to take a moment just to remind you so uh, when you go to bed tonight, you can praise him. When you get up in the morning, you can praise him. All week long, you can praise him because he is a wonderful God. And we know that. Uh, been through our church has been through one of the toughest times that we've seen as a church um, through 2020 with all the COVID virus going on and all the other uh, things that's taking place in the world right now. It's one of the toughest years we've been through. I would venture to say that's been one of the toughest years that any of us has been through um, as individuals. But uh, through it all, our God is great and He's gracious to us. Uh, as you know, many of you know, we actually grew in number to the largest number of folks attending our church. Uh, in the history of our church, even through COVID-19 and all the other stuff, as I said, going in the world. God blessed us financially. Uh, we did not struggle. In fact, we gained. Uh, God continued to just pour out in us where we can pour out in this community. Uh, and then we grew spiritually and uh, continue to grow spiritually. And that's the thing we're most excited about. Uh, and God will continue to bless as long as we keep him in the center, as we all know. But as I said, I just wanted to show you, if you haven't been back here to take a look, just how awesome our God is. Uh, we grew to the point that uh, we just needed more room for our children, and God provided a way. So let me just take a second to show you through it, uh, in case you haven't been here, and I'll uh, try my best to describe it to you, and I uh, hope it's a blessing to you. So let's go. So we're entering in here uh, through the hallway, going toward the teens' room. We're going to enter in here. Um, and so this is the hallway leading to the rooms. Uh, right here is going to be a hideaway staircase uh, that we'll be able to access the 750 square feet uh, of storage room uh, that I'll show you more of when we get on the other side of the rooms. Uh, but that's where we'll be entering in there. As you come down the hallway, uh, you'll turn into uh, the first classroom beside the teen room. Uh, and here it is, the same size as the teen room. Uh, just an awesome, awesome, awesome room, as you can see. Just a huge room that will make it possible now for uh, some of our children to be separated by age and have their own room here uh, as we go into the room this is a closet uh, that'll be in the room for uh, the teachers to put their supplies in and there'll be a door there uh, so they can uh, control you know who goes in and out so that's a awesome blessing there and again you can see the size of the room right here where those boards are in the very center at the top there that's where the tv will hang for them to be able to uh, show videos and uh, do different things in the classroom we can also stream the service live in here if we ever wanted to and of course you can see uh, again just the size of this room so very excited uh, about uh, this this room here and what it'll do for uh, all of our leaders so let's exit this room and we'll continue down the hallway <clears throat> right here there'll be of course doors that'll shut with windows in them like all our other classrooms uh, so they can have privacy but yet folks can still look in i'm gonna have to uh this is the door that's leading into the the next room, which is beside the, the room we were just in, but I'm gonna have to go through another room to get through there because I got some sheetrock in the way. So bear with me just a second. Okay, so we're now in this room. This room is basically the same size as the room we were just in, just a little bit smaller. We cheated some of this space in this room uh, to give Sister Elsie in the nursery a little more room. This room here is gonna be for our children. As you can see uh, here, what this room looks like, there's where their TV will be. A little bit lower because these children are a little smaller so they don't have to look up and hurt their neck while they're looking and you can see here an entrance here to a bathroom uh, that will have a sink and a commode in it uh, so that the children and the leaders here won't have to exit this room uh, to go all the way out in the hallway and all the way down to where the restrooms are and have to leave anybody in here so they'll be able to use this restroom here and you can see again uh, just the, the sheer size of the room so it's outstanding to be able to give again more room uh, for teachers to be able to teach and give us more room to expand and grow. As we continue on, we'll walk through where the bathroom's at. As you can see, there's another door on the other side here. And the reason that's there is so the nursery folks on the other side can also use this restroom. So they can access it. There's doors, as you see, right in front of you. And as we pan back right here, there'll be another door, as I said to you, right there. Uh, so if somebody goes in the restroom from this side over here, they can lock it, lock both sides while they're in there and nobody walks in on them. When they finish, they open the door and go back out. So we're very excited about that for our workers and for our children not to have to leave, uh, to, to leave the rooms to be able to go to the restroom. So 
now we're entering in uh, to the nursery. Uh, this is the, the nursery. And again, you can see the size of the room. Again, we're very excited about this to be able to give Sister Elsie and her staff much, much more room than what they've got now uh, to take care of our babies and also uh, to grow. So you can see that as we pan around, we just walked out of the bathroom right there. There's a place for their TV as well. So we have TVs in every room and the ability to, um, to show videos or stream services live in them. Okay, uh, on this wall as you enter into the door, Sister Elsie uh, is gonna have uh, right here some cubbies that are gonna be built right here uh, to be able to uh, put diaper bags in as the parents come uh, in to give their children to them. And right along here will be a cabinet uh, about waist high down through there uh, for her to be able to have a changing table on as well as some storage underneath it. So very, very excited about that. I wanna pan back as we walk back through the, the bathrooms here to get over to the middle room, our children's room. <clears throat> and now you can see the storage area up top, 750 square feet of storage, which we needed desperately uh, in our church. So we're very, very excited about this storage area up top here and what that will do for us as far as you know, taking things out off the floor and out of the way until we need them. So very excited about that. All in all, I think we can all say God has been truly, truly good to Gethsemane Church. So uh, love you. I know this is a little bit longer video than what we typically send to you, but I just thought it'd be good for you to just to get a good look at what God's doing and what's taking place here in our church. So keep praying uh, for God's will to be done in our church. Keep praying for these folks building this. Uh, won't be long. We'll be in this and uh, uh, you'll be able to hear the voices of some very happy children and leaders uh, on this side of the church. So to God be the glory. God bless y'all. Uh, we love and appreciate you. Thank you for what you're doing to help make this project possible as well. Uh, we couldn't do it without you. Again, we love each one of you. Have a great night.